hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video what we will be doing is that uh, we will create a client side application and we will display the data from our web services on that client application which will be a windows form application so we will be uh, enabling the web services or you can say the methods to be called using url although we have tested our web services through web browser yet it needs some modifications to be called directly using its url and to pass parameters within the url so for doing that uh, we need to go to this web.config file and here uh, after this system.web tag we need to add another tag by the name web services close this tag and in here another tag is by the name protocols close this one and in here we need to add name and inside this double quotation you can simply type capital H small TTP HTTP and you can see this will appear which is HTTP get now your web services methods can be called by URL and parameters can also be uh, passed along with that so yeah let's close this click yes and the next thing is to create a client side application so for doing that do not close this uh, web application first of all let's run this and it must be in the runnable form okay so you can see it is running now and i will simply minimize the browser and uh, let's create another application do not close this web services application and also do not close your browser it must be in the runnable form because now we are going to add some references in our client side application for that we will be needing this okay so i'm going to create another application new project and this time i'm going to create a windows form application and i can give it a name as uh, let's give it a proper name which will be our client app by the name client app or i can simply say my client app and then click ok and it is going to create a windows form application so you can see this so now uh, what i'm going to do is add a data grid view simply and we will further modify it when we will be uh, using the database operations with it but for now we will be using just a data grid view so that we can see how we can uh, display the data from a web service here on any client side application so yeah that's it and the next thing is to uh, add a reference here so all you're gonna need is to click here on this reference right click and here you can simply click on this add service reference and this window will appear and uh, go to the browser and copy this url from here copy it and now click on this advanced in here you can click on this add web reference and paste the url here and then click on this button this go button and it will search for it so you can see uh, it is running successfully and it is displaying all our three methods which is on our web service now all you're going to need is to give it any name you want i'm going to give this uh, reference a name or you can also use this default name which is localhost so i will simply go with the default name i'm not going to change this name okay so make sure to remember this name which is in my case it is localhost and now you can simply click on this add reference button and uh, here you can see it add this web reference uh, directory and in here we have this localhost reference so on the form load double click on this form and you can see form underscore load is created but first of all we are going to create the instance of the added reference so i can simply say localhost which is the reference which we just created then we can say web service one and let's give it a name i can simply call it as proxy localhost dot web service one 
So we created the, an instance by name proxy for this local host uh, reference which we just created and now uh, this will basically act as a proxy client for invoking uh, web methods and this web service one is the class name which is automatically created. Now how to uh, call and uh, display the data from the web service here on our client application or you can say on the grid view on this Windows Home application all you're gonna need is to type uh, proxy which is basically our object of the web service which we created and if you type dot then it will display the methods which is on our web service here you can see countries and if you scroll here then here you can see hello world so we can now access those uh, methods here but we cannot uh, just display or you can say retrieve the data from the uh, web service directly as you know that that data is in the JSON uh, format or you can say a JSON object uh, which I already show you guys in the previous tutorial now here uh, we need to convert that JSON object which means that we will uh, deserialize that object so first of all what I'm going to do is here I can simply create a string type variable I can simply give it a name as countries JSON equals which this variable will basically contain a, a JSON okay this is nothing but just a string type variable proxy dot countries which is the method on our uh, if I show you here on our web is hello world sum and countries these are the methods so we can call this countries method now since you know that this will be in the JSON format so we have to convert this JSON to data table in order to display the data here on the uh, grid view so how we can do that so we will um, be using the same uh, newtonsoft.json so it will not be available so we have to install it here also just like we did in the previous video tutorial so to do that all you're going to need is to click on this reference click on this manage and you get packages and it will open this okay make sure that from here this one is selected which is nuget.org click on this browse and here you can simply search for the microsoft.aspnet.webavi client which is this one and then install this one and you have to wait for it it will took some seconds I accept and you can see it is installed successfully now we can simply close this and now here we can say using newtonsoft.json and after that we can say json convert dot deserialize object data table and pass the country json to here and it will convert that string which is basically a JSON object to the uh, data table now uh, we have to store it somewhere so we can create a data table here so you can say data table let's give it a name as dd countries equals to this and let's assign the uh, source to our data grid view so you can say data grid view one dot data source equals to dd countries so on the form lot it will do this so let's run the app to see if it is working or not so you can see this our app is running now successfully and now we have uh, successfully uh, displayed the data from the web service here on our uh, client side application which is basically a windows form application in this case uh, here on the grid view we display the data so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will be using uh, we will performing basically some uh, database uh, operations using the web services and we will display the data here on this uh, client side application so that we can also learn how to perform the database operations using the web services so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video bye for now